today. We'll show you some of the most common mistakes made by beginners. Players who really just started playing football recently. And then we'll show you how to fix those mistakes. You're watching All Attack. Mistake number one, letting the ball roll underfoot. When players are first learning to control a pass, it's common for them to try to stop the ball with the underside of their foot. The only problem is they're beginners, so it will lead to a lot of this. So if you're really just starting to learn, it's probably better to start by controlling passes with the inside of your foot. That way, there's no chance the ball will go underneath. Mistake number two, accidental curve. When players are first learning to kick or pass a ball, they have a tendency to hook their pass across their body. This is because your leg just naturally swings this way. Now, there are two things you can do to fix this. The first is to just know that your pass is going to curve, and so you adjust where you aim in the first place. And the second, and more important way to fix this, is to simply fix your passing technique, so that when you strike the ball, your foot follows through straight toward your target. Mistake number three, hiding from the ball. Some new players are so scared to get the ball in a game that they actively hide from it. And while yes, they probably don't hide behind trees, they also don't call for the ball or move into positions where they can receive it, leading to them never getting the ball and therefore never getting a chance to get better. So it's important to remember that even though at first you won't be very good when you receive the ball, you need to overcome your fear and get involved with the game. That way you get lots of chances to improve. Mistake number four stopping the ball with your first touch. When beginning players are first learning to control the ball, they have a tendency to just stop the ball with their first touch. The problem is, when you stop the ball dead, right in front of your body, you end up having to take another touch just to get the ball out in front of you. And that gives defenders more time to close you down. So instead, you should take your first touch so that it's a little out in front of you. That way it sets you up for what you want to do next. Mistake number five, clearing the ball into a dangerous area. When you're defending a cross or clearing a ball from near your own goal, what you don't want to do is clear the ball toward the middle of the field especially if you're not going to be able to clear it further than the top of the penalty area. This tends to create goal scoring opportunities for the other team. The solution? Just try as much as you can to always clear the ball toward the side of the field. Mistake six, thinking juggling equals a good player. Listen, we don't hate juggling here at All Attack. We actually like it. We think it's a great way to improve your touch and control. But there are some young players that think that juggling the ball a thousand times makes you a good player. And that's just not true. So although we still want to encourage you to practice your juggling, we also want to remind you that most of football is played on the ground. So it's important to work on other aspects of your game too. Mistake number seven, not communicating. 
When players don't speak up and communicate with their teammates during the game, it leads to mistakes. So if your teammate has the ball and space behind them, tell them to turn. If there's a defender on their back, tell them men on. And in general, if there's something important happening on the field that you think a teammate needs to be aware of, then let them know, and hopefully in the future they'll do the same for you. Mistake number eight, thinking big kick equals good kick. When players are young or new to the game, some of them are very impressed by big, high, powerful shots. Oh! And look, I get it. When I was a kid, it was very impressive when another kid had this big, powerful kick. But it's important to remember that in football, the goal is on the ground. So if you're a beginning player, it's probably better to first focus on technique and accuracy. Because most of the time, all you'll need to do is simply place the ball into the corner of the goal. Mistake number nine, closing your eyes before heading. Closing your eyes before heading the ball will lead to you hitting the ball with the wrong part of your head. Which will lead to a lot of this. So if you are going to go up for the header at all, you need to make sure that you keep your eyes open so that you can hit the ball with your forehead. And if you want power, lean back with your upper body before powering through the ball. Mistake 10, not enjoying the game. And now we'll talk about the worst mistake young players make, which is not having fun. Listen, at the end of the day, football is a game that exists for the enjoyment of people. So while yes, it's great to try to fix your mistakes, you also shouldn't be afraid to make them. So if you're just starting in football, then go out there, try things, make mistakes, but most of all, have fun. Because at the end of the day, that's kind of the whole point. All right, everyone, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment about what you want to see next. <laughs>